Hey guys, what is going on? It is Minitough, and I have some good news for you content creators out there, especially if you're going to be using OBS. So, if you don't recall, I made an OBS tutorial back a month ago or so, and I was showing off all of my really cool graphics and stuff that I made. So, just for a quick recap, here are my, my graphics, and it's going to show my face, so you better be prepared for, for my face here. So, this is my graphics here. There'd be a game here. Just ignore that. It would just there'd be a game here then we've got my face cam graphic here which just shows my face really close up then we have the uh, solo game which just pretty much what it does is it just shows the game and I have the subscribe logo up here which blocks out my FPS counter in say Minecraft or something and then we have my outro template here which I'm not going to show that off and then that that's pretty much it but what I wanted to show you is that I have created some templates for you guys out there who want to go out and download them and you can go ahead and run them on OBS and you can have templates that look very similar to mine. They're not exactly what mine look like, but I wanted to show you and they're completely editable too. So you can download them. They're Photoshop files. You can also probably open them with GIMP. This is a free program, so you could download this on Windows and your Mac and you could run this and probably run and edit these files here. So let's go ahead and open them up. So we'll show off the face cam template here. And the way this works is I'll, I'll show you the process you need to go through. So open up each one and they look, this is the full face cam one. So what you're gonna wanna do is come in here and then go in and say, okay, so we have the social networks and then you have all of your stuff here. This is the mini tough logo. I'll probably put this outside of that. So everything is all organized, hopefully, and you have your background stuff, so if you turn this off, this just turns off the background. I tried to organize everything as much as I could, and you have your social networks here, so you have your Twitter icon, uh, your Facebook icon, and then you have all of your other stuff. And you can go ahead and change all this stuff, so let's go ahead and change this to whatever your name is, and make sure it should all be centered, but when you change something, you're going to have to recenter it. So the way to recenter something is, depending on how what you want it to be centered on is kind of up to you so if you want to center it on the entire screen you, what you want to do is highlight the whole screen and then click on what it is you're changing click on this button here and choose this and in that in this case it will center it so that's how you center stuff and you just put your name here and then you go in and you go into social networks you go in to edit your google plus so you can put googleplus.com slash you and I don't have a Facebook that's just an example so you, if you don't have a Facebook go ahead and turn this stuff off you can you can do all that that's that's why I made this for you guys is I want to to turn off as many things that you don't want you can edit this as much as you want so when you're done what you want to do is go ahead and save it I'm not gonna save this but you want to go file save as and then go ahead and put it anywhere you want and make this a PNG that is important if it's not a PNG it won't work don't use JPEG make sure it's a PNG file and save it wherever you want go ahead and press ok and then save this actual file because you know you want to save your changes in my case I don't want to save the changes I want to give you guys the original document here so now we've got it saved it should be right here so I can go ahead and preview this and this is what we've created it, it'll be bigger than this and there you go that's how you do it now to import it in OBS it's very simple open up OBS and I'll have a link to my tutorial in the description because I'm not expecting you to understand how to do this you know, if you you should have watched my tutorial first. So then, open this up and go ahead and make sure you have previewing on. Go ahead and add a scene, and we'll just call this uh, test scene here for YouTube, and we'll add our sources. So to add your source, go ahead and press add, and then go ahead and add an image, and you can name this whatever you want, and then go to browse, and open up your desktop, and you should see your template here. Press open, and leave all this stuff the same. It's fine. Press OK, and the it should go full screen, as long as you have all your settings the same. These templates are 1920 by 1080, so if you want to edit them and you know scale them up or down, you can obviously do this kind of stuff, but it should, if you're doing your, your stuff in 1080p, it should automatically scale and fit at 1080p. So then you have this, and you want to add your face cam, you can go in and add, and I believe I have it in Global Source, yes I do, face cam, and we'll leave that face cam, and there, there you have it. Now you can go in and press... Uh, we'll go ahead and move this down here. Oops. We'll press, um, we'll move down, and now it'll be underneath. We'll go edit scene, and we will move this into the center. And that is how you create your face cam template here. So I'll do the same thing for uh, the other templates. I'll show you how to use those. We'll close this out, and I'll show you what the other templates look like. So this is the face cam. This is the outro template. So 
your outro template is not it's not a video it's just a template and this is what it looks like it's pretty much for if you want a simple outro to link yourself to other videos so here you go this is what it will look like and see this manual guidelines here this is for my sake but I'm including it because I think some of you guys might find it useful what it is is you see these blue guidelines here these are guidelines that when you drag in a file so we'll go in and import my tough in the minecraft um, 78.png if I shrink this down it should snap you see how it's snapping to these guidelines so that's how I easily center everything so that when you're importing something you can easily just make sure you drag it and it will fill out and perfect that's how you add your your thumbnails but I added these manual guidelines and what these are are they are if you can see this I don't know if you can see this I'll zoom in really close watch here I'm gonna click turn them on and they get bigger these are manual so if you wanna cuz you know how if you export your or save your images as a PNG these guidelines will not show up but I turned on I made manual guidelines so if you want the guidelines to be there if you're you know you're gonna be centering them for some reason then turn that on but leave it off otherwise so that's how you add your images I'll show you another image so for instance let's go into my window storage YouTube stuff we'll go in thumbnails we'll go to actual thumbnails Minecraft related I we got lots of stuff here I'll drag in my castaway island this is how you add in thumbnails and then you can just shrink them down and make sure you apply them here so that's pretty much all you need to do to add thumbnails and there you go then you can go into uh, video labels here and it says video labels left right so this then you go in here and you can change this to top in the Minecraft and then you can go and change this one to you know castaway island and that is how you add your thumbnails then you can just go ahead and talk over them castaway island and I stink at spelling and there you go so then go ahead and sh you know press the check mark and I'm hoping that you're familiar with Photoshop I shouldn't really have to give you a tutorial on how to use this but I just wanted to show you real quick and then we'll do save as same process as before we'll go and save it as a PNG put it on our desktop save okay and there you go and you you obviously can change mini tough and your Twitter stuff down here I have all of that you know created easily for you and I'm gonna close this oh when it's done saving down here I'm gonna close this I don't want to save these this because normally you should want to save it so then we'll go and open up OBS just like normal we'll create a new scene here we'll do add scene we'll call this test dose press ok we'll preview the stream you go ahead and add your image just like normal I'll leave that as image and we'll go down here we'll go to outro template and choose okay so that's pretty much it and then you know what you what when what you normally do is you go in here and you go you know you're playing your game and you're like okay guys that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one and then you switch here and then you say all right here are two videos you may have missed you may have missed up the Minecraft 78 or castaway island is a random video you might want to check that out and then you go in on YouTube and you edit this and you you know you do your annotations and everything like that so that is how you add this I'm hoping that you guys know how to do this and it doesn't have to be OBS this outro template can also be done in Adobe Premiere you can do that as well any any editing program the outro template will work for will work but these other templates are made for OBS so that's pretty much what they're for you can use them for anything you want and this one is probably one of the most important ones here this is your top face cam this puts your face cam up in the top left and you have all your other stuff here you can turn off anything here that you want and this is you know this is just your face cam is up here and then down here I put a subscribe logo you can turn this off easily just by clicking here that'll turn it off and that that's that's it there's there's nothing really you know that's going on here nothing fancy you just change your name and then you go and save it like normal you could everything else should be the same all you have to do is change your name here I'll show you how to do that because it's not exactly um, as simple as it sounds you just go in here and you choose put your name and now notice how it's not centered anymore and you can't just go in and choose hit the center button because there's nothing here so what you want to do is go into face cam outline and choose base 640 by 480 and then click on this and then go ahead and just make sure you select everything so go in here and grab this whole image here this should select only the inside which is fine and then click on your name here and click this button here and choose that and it should center it all so then what you want to do is deselect uh, that's control D and then go file save as and we'll put this on the desktop as well make sure it is a PNG file save bam and there you go now it's saved I'm not gonna say this again same process as before guys open up OBS we'll make another scene here we'll call this uh, test 3 
So what I wanted to do is give you guys some some templates to help get your videos out there. Maybe you don't need to, you know, you don't want to do all the work creating them. That's what I've done here, and I've made them templates that everyone out there can have so that you don't have to be chosen. I'll just have the link in the description, and you can go in and download all of that. So I, I don't know if I need to show you this stuff, but it should automatically add in. Remember, you can turn off the subscribe here, and you can change all this. For, for my sake here, I'm going to go ahead and add a monitor capture just to show you if what a background would look like. Okay, uh, just ignore that. And I'll just go ahead and move this down. So this is what it will look like. You can't really, if you're having a hard time seeing, and I have arrow enabled, so I probably shouldn't do that. But this is what it will look like. And if you have a game in the background, it will obviously be in the background. You can turn off any of this stuff. You can edit it to your liking. So we'll, again, we'll add our face cam. So I have that as a global source face cam. We'll add in my face cam. Ugh, don't look at it. Edit scene, and we will shrink this down. And it should automatically just fit in there. And we can, you know, move it over a little bit. Bam. And then you just go ahead and move this down. You can use the control down arrow. And there you go. Now you are inside your little face cam template. It should be really quick and easy to do. And I hope that you guys enjoy this video. It's very simple. You can just go ahead and download all of these stuff. I included a useful stuff folder, which just has a black screen 1080p. So if you're in your thumbnails here, I'll show you real quick. Go into your outro template and say you don't have a thumbnail, but you want to know how to add and stuff. You go into useful stuff, drag in this black screen 1080p and it's, this is exactly what your thumbnail will look like if it is 1080p. So you can go ahead and drag this in and sync it up just like normal. And that will just give you a good indication of how you add a thumbnail I mean for me that's I don't want to be doing that but that's that's that I have a subscribe button here this is a very high quality button look at this dimensions here and you have a video icon I don't know if you'd want to use this but it's a video icon you can overlay this on top of your your outro and just have a little icon or you can have a play button whatever you want to do these are all I'm giving you full permission to edit these you can use them whatever you want to do use them at your will they are pretty much yours I'm just hoping that you're not going to be like, oh my goodness, I'm going to go distribute them and create them on my own. I, I don't want you distributing them, but you can link them to this video if you want them to. People download them and use them for themselves. But that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you in the next one. So for all you content creators out there that want to be you know, doing live streams or using OBS or making a cool outro, then go ahead and download these templates. They're free, and use them to your liking. And I will see you guys in the next video, and I hope you enjoyed. Peace out, guys. Oh!